For the past 24 hours, it has been our most clicked story on ClickOnDetroit.com. The search for the five-month-old wallaby missing from the Detroit Zoo. And today the zoo is fearing maybe it was a hawk, maybe an owl that may have snatched the little guy from above. But they're hoping it can still be found alive. Victor Williams live in Royal Oak tonight as the search continues. What's the latest, Victor? Yeah, Karen and Devin, you know, as this search continues, many people that are living very close to the zoo, they're on the lookout hoping to find this little critter before it's too late. I walk my dogs regularly and we walk by this side of the zoo frequently and so I keep my eyes open just, you know, wondering if I'm going to see him hiding in some shrubs. Aaron McDonald is just one Royal Oak resident on the lookout, being extra careful in case he comes across the missing five month old wallaby that went missing from the Detroit Zoo. It's confusing, you know, you think the zoo is surrounded by fences. It, be unlikely it could end up leaving the zoo. The zoo officials are also just as confused about what could have happened. The joy was so young that its gender had yet to be determined. But longtime member Art Wolin says he doesn't think a human is responsible for the animal disappearing. It's unlikely that someone jumped the fence, violated the containment, to get into the um, exhibit. One major possibility is a flying predator taking the baby before anyone could realize. I don't think that there's a, uh, a barrier across the top of the exhibit. Well, it's sad to hear about any animal, especially one from our zoo that we all cherish, um, you know, end up meeting that kind of fate. But I also think we live in nature, right? <laughs> and so these things happen, and it's unfortunate. Either way is such a heartbreaking story. I know that the staff at the zoo probably are heartbroken because it is their their mission in life to maintain the wildlife there. And every day that passes, the wallabies chances of survival are growing slimmer and slimmer. So if you guys do see that little thing around here, you guys are advised to contact the Detroit Zoo as soon as possible. Victor Williams, local four. Oh, it's heartbreaking. We so hope he can be found or she, since we don't know yeah, it's here or she. Know. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you, Victor. We'll keep updating.